Well, if the domestication of animals was uh, the first really formidable and basic transformation, the second was the founding of cities and the invention of writing. And as far as we know, the earliest cities in the world were those of early Mesopotamia, coming around the fourth millennium BC, you can say about 3200 BC, something like that, the cities of ancient, ancient Sumer, these walled cities. There you have a professional priest cast, and it is they who invented writing. They used it first for simply recording gifts to the temples and so forth, but then also for recording their observations of the heavens. Observing the heavens was very important because it was from that that you uh, determined your planting time. Not the reaping, because you reaped when the crops were ripe, but when do you plant? You must know your seasons perfectly. As a, as a result of recording observations of the heavens, it was uh, presently realized that the planets, which formerly had been thought of as a disturbing influence, moved at a mathematically determinable rate through the fixed constellations. And here we begin to get mathematical mythologies where certain numbers, enormous numbers, begin to become very important. There's a the number 432,000 that occurs in all kinds of relationships, for example. Uh, and then a total transformation of mythology takes place among primitive people, and I use the word respectfully, those who were there before writing came in and before this whole city development and were close to the ground and close to nature, the objects of worship and special attention were usually exceptional objects. This exceptional animal, this exceptional tree, this particular place. Uh, but when you begin to get the notion of a cosmic order, the totally new idea, let's say, the inevitable order takes over. And that is the basic mythology of all the high cultures, that there is an inevitable order, the round of the sun in the cycle of the day and the year, the round of the moon in its cycles, the round of the planet Jupiter, for instance, and the speed of its passage, the star Venus becomes very important for the Mayan and Aztec people, the realization that the evening star and the morning star were the same star. This was a tremendous realization, and the god Quetzalcoatl is associated with that. Uh, the powers of the order of the cosmos become tremendously important.